Log trucks take logs from the woods to a mill. At the mill, their first stop is the scale house, where the scale house operator weighs each truck entering or leaving the mill to calculate how much wood was brought into the mill. This is important because mills buy logs by weight. Once the truck is weighed, it enters the mill yard where the log crane operator unloads the wood using a giant crane system. The operator then stacks the wood on the wood pile or feeds it directly into the debarker. The debarker operator is responsible for running the machine that removes the bark from the logs and cuts tree length logs into saw logs. Each saw log then enters the sawmill, where it is evaluated by a scanner to identify the most efficient use of that wood. The sharp chain then uses that information to shave off two sides of each log to make them flat. After that, the half-shaped log travels to the gang saw, where it is scanned again, the other sides are shaved off, and the saw log becomes boards. The gang saw operator is responsible for making sure the mill does not become jammed and that the scanners are accurate. The boards then enter the trimmer line, where they are scanned again, then trimmed to length to achieve the most value out of each board. Quality control operators are responsible for ensuring all scanning systems are working properly and making sure we are hitting our quality metrics. The lumber is sorted and stacked according to size, and sticks are placed between the layers to allow more efficient drying in the kiln. The lumber is then placed in the kiln to be dried by blowing hot air around the wood. After the lumber is dried, the packs are sent to the planer mill where they are separated. The planer mill smooths the rough, dry lumber. The smooth lumber is then sent to the dry stacker where it is sorted and stacked by size as a finished product. The packs of lumber are sent to the labeling and stamping station where an operator prepares it for transport. The finished product is then loaded onto trucks and shipped to its destination. A person can get a job at a sawmill with no formal education or technical training, but if you are interested in obtaining a technical degree, you can learn more from your local community college. There are numerous positions available for those interested in a career in forest products manufacturing. If you enjoy working with your hands, are safety conscious, efficient, and enjoy technical thinking, then a career in forest products manufacturing is one you should consider. Go to forestryworks.com to learn more about this and other exciting careers offered in the forest industry.